Welcome to BS News. Kick-ass actor Aaron Taylor Johnson has been announced as the next 007. This just in from our totally reliable sources, Twitter, Facebook, and The Sun, which is a website based in the UK, so double reliable. More on this later. Coming up next, Margot Robbie and Emma Watson are front runners to become Bond girls in Bond 26. This just in from our totally reliable sources, Twitter, Facebook, and the Sun. So, Aaron Taylor Johnson. I mainly know him as the kid from Kick-Ass, who happens to be my exact age, like literally only three months older, also born on the 13th. I don't know about him yet. Maybe it's because I know him as that kid from Kick-Ass and I can't help but still see him in that way. I look at pictures of him today and I still see that kid but with a beard slapped onto him. Which if he will be bond, he will be clean shaven anyway and I feel he will still look very boyish. I think that is true for a lot of people my age these days, myself included. Look at Connery at age 32. The guy looked like he was in his 40s. That was a man. Anyway, I look at Johnson and I feel I'm just not looking at James Bond. Even looking at pictures of him today, he's lacking that X factor I'm looking for with James Bond. If you look at Pierce Brosnan at a young age, even when he was still years away from becoming 007, he just looked destined to become the next James Bond, almost as if he was born to do it. For me, that's what I'm just missing when I'm looking at Aaron Taylor Johnson. However, I was also among those guys in 2005 that didn't see it with Daniel Craig. I didn't like the blonde hair. I thought he was lacking the classic handsome look that James Bond should have. And while I still believe Craig was certainly a totally different Bond than the five before him, he did convince me, and Casino Royale ended up arguably being the best Bond film to date. So I do believe Johnson might have what it takes to blow me over as well, if he ever did land a role, but I'm just not seeing it yet. And to be perfectly fair, I really just know him from Kick-Ass. I do hear he's great with action films, very physical, he's British, all this stuff that sounds great to become the next 007. He's still at a young age for the role too, and he isn't a huge star, so that's probably something the producers might prefer. So yeah, I can't see his appeal at the moment, but I simply haven't seen enough of him yet to be convinced he could be a great Bond. It's kind of like Taron Egerton, the star of Kingsman, also around my age, also still looking very boyish. Kingsman is another film directed by Matthew Vaughn and even closer to Bond. I really, really like Kingsman and absolutely love what Egerton did with the part. The cheeky humor, the badass style, the way he looks in a suit. He has it all for the Bond-like part of Eggsy. But just like Aaron Taylor Johnson, I don't see him, or at least not yet, as the next James Bond 007. That to me is just something on another level. Then Henry Cavill dropped this little bomb on his Instagram the other day, stating he will no longer be Superman after all. The one thing that definitely stopped him from ever becoming the next 007 is now gone again and the door seems slightly more open for him again. And while I still believe it remains highly unlikely that he will ever be the next Bond, I made it no secret in previous videos that I for one really really would like to see him as the next 007. If you ask me about my personal front runners, he's probably my number one pick at the moment. Much like Brosnan, Cavill seems to have that same factor over him of just being destined for the part. Something I don't think any other actor today has over him as much as this guy has. Cavill, however unlikely due to his age and stardom, 
just seems to be an amazing and deserving choice that general audiences and Bond fans would all be happy to see. Generally speaking, of course. So, there really isn't that much to discuss on these rumors other than to share. Aaron Taylor Johnson hasn't convinced me yet, but he might if it ever happened. That's about it. I'm still in Team Henry Cavill myself. What about you guys? Leave a comment and share your own opinion on these two. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and see you guys in the next video.